Hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How are you, Ellie? Good, thank you. Good. I'm just going to dive on in here and get started. Great. Now, you're clearly very passionate about eating well and maintaining a really truly healthy lifestyle. What are a few small things we can do to make better choices in the kitchen? Yeah, it's really incredible. It's not that hard to really have delicious and healthy food. And particularly, I would love to point out today, um, because February is Heart Health Month, um, and heart disease is the number one killer of women in this country. It's really shocking. Like one in four women die of heart disease. And so um, I'm teaming up with Campbell Soup today to really bring this to the forefront of people's awareness, essentially, and offer these uh, tips to make a big difference. So what's good for your heart is also what's good for the rest of your body, okay? So it's interesting that just eating a better for your heart with your heart in mind will also improve your skin and reduce your risk of cancer and make you feel more energetic. So it really does all work together. Um, but basically, I would love to explain this in the context of this great recipe that I have because it has a lot of different elements that bring in heart health. Um, and it's this chicken with white bean and vegetable simmer. And I have it kind of going here already. And basically, uh, I just started off, the thing I love about this is it's just uh, in one skillet is how you make it, and it takes less than 30 minutes. So it's like perfect for busy people <laughs> like me, right. like you, I'm sure. Um, but basically, I just sauteed some chicken in the skillet in some olive oil. Just cooked it till it was brown and cooked through. And right away, two really great heart healthy things are happening. One is using lean meat, okay? So chicken breasts, of course. Uh, pork tenderloin would be great here. Just slice it into medallions. Um, mm -hmm. A piece of salmon would be great. Uh, some shrimp. Anyway, and also sauteing in olive oil. So olive oil, just as your go-to oil, it has so many heart-healthy compounds in it. Um, and the type of fat that it has is also good for your heart, monounsaturated fat. Um, then I took that out of the pan, and in the pan goes great heart-healthy, colorful vegetables. So just eating, thinking about food in terms of color is just a great way to approach not only nutrition, but also good taste, because you want it to look beautiful and taste delicious, and having color, um, a variety of colors really helps that, of course. But when you eat uh, the rainbow of vegetables, you're also eating sort of a rainbow of antioxidants. So here I have orange and green, and I'm gonna put in red, and red is basically gonna be the sauce, it's tomatoes. Uh, Campbell's Healthy Request Condensed Tomato Soup. So this really makes a really delicious and beautiful sauce. And the red comes from lycopene, which um, is a heart healthy antioxidant. I'm gonna add a little water to that. But I really wanted to point out specifically in terms of a great tip for shopping, that this product has the American Heart Association heart check mark on it. And um, that means that it had to meet strict requirements in terms of being heart healthy, requirements set by the American Heart Association. And Campbell's actually has 80 products that meet that, uh, those requirements and have the check mark. So it's one of those things like when you're in the store, it can be so overwhelming. If you look mm -hmm. for that uh, American Heart Association heart check mark, it can help you make decisions more quickly um, and be assured that you have a heart healthy product. Um, so in there also, I'm putting some white beans. And beans are incredibly healthy um, with fiber and minerals. And then they're hearty. You know, they really fill you up and give you that kind of uh, nice full belly kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so that just simmers. And then you serve it up right on a plate like this with the chicken on top and some fresh basil and you have dinner ready. And so that's the idea of how you can incorporate all these heart healthy ingredients and do it in a way that's delicious and really doable for every day. Sounds great. Sounds really good. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. Now, we, we probably, I know you've done a lot of different things, but we probably know you best from the Food Network. Um, what is the, the best part for you about starring and healthy appetite? Gosh, well, you know, so just to be able to, I, I, I love food. I was born loving food. I was overweight as a child. I struggled with a lot of different um, issues with nutrition. And mm -hmm. I learned how to love food in a healthy way. And so to be able to 
help other people do that, to love food and enjoy it, but do it in a way that's also helping them live their life really fully and feel good. That is a total joy to me, and that the Food Network show has really given me um, the platform to do that, and also um, the many books I have. So I'm just thrilled in all of these ways, and, and being with you here today to be able to help people eat really well in the truest sense of the word. Wonderful. Now, some people may not realize, I know that I didn't, that you were once a fashion model. Yeah. Um, my, my outsider's view says that a lot of the girls currently modeling today in the industry are kind of thin. But I'm that. I'm just an outsider. Now, you've been inside. From your experience, how is food viewed within that particular industry? Oh, my gosh. Well, when I was modeling, it was terrible. I mean, I really... So I was modeling, it was started off as a summer job. After my freshman year of college, um, I was studying nutrition, and I needed some work, and I had some friends in the fashion industry. They said I should try modeling. And it wound up being this 15-year career that paid for all, paid for my master's degree. I wound up modeling all through that, and it was a uh -huh. really wonderful. But I did see um, so many things, just unhealthy attitudes toward food. Um, and it's hard in that pressure cooker where you're being, you know, evaluated and you have to be really skinny to do the shows or whatever. I never did those. I was more of like a catalog kind of model, but I made a good living and traveled the world. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of pressure, but there, it's just a sort of extension of how much pressure is on women in day-to-day -day life for all women to live up to a certain ideal. And I think um, learning how to cope with that and and see beyond that is really important. It was important for me as a model and nutritionist, which is a funny balance, perhaps. But in, in another way, it also helped me be a good model because when you eat well, you look better. Your skin looks yeah. good, your eyes look good, your hair looks good, you can stay trim without being overly skinny. And so it also helped me um, be successful in a lot of ways, my knowledge of nutrition. Right, no, I can totally see that. Okay, now let's say you had carte blanche here to create a brand new reality cooking series. What would it be about and who would you want to work with on it? Oh, wow, that's a good one. So I'd want to work with regular people and intervene okay. in their daily lives. And uh, actually, you know what I always thought would be fun to do like, um, to do like shopping cart makeovers, you know. Okay. Interrupt people and look in their shopping cart and say, "What? Are you, why are you buying this?" And I have a better choice. And oh, it looks like you're, uh, you can use some help here. You know, maybe you need some more vegetables in there. I think that would be fun. I think working with real people would be really fun because I think there's so much going on with people and nutrition in everyday life that's so interesting and compelling, and it's really revealing as to what's going on in their personal lives. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good idea. I like that. <laughs> Don't okay, do that no, show no. without me. you got to call me up when you're ready to do that show. <laughs> oh, of course. Okay, so no one likes to admit it, but each of us has a funny kitchen disaster story under our belt. What's one of yours? Uh -huh. I actually blogged about this. I love this one. I say uh, um, it was the $149 smoothie because I had my blender, and I was making a smoothie, and I put in my fruit, and I put in my milk, and then I took a scoop of peanut butter and I put it in and the phone rang. And so I dropped the spoon in the blender, went and answered the oh, phone, no. and then I ran the blender and I'm like, what is that clanking noise? Oh, no. <laughs> All of a sudden my blender burns out and I would actually apparently tried to blend my spoon, which I do not recommend. So it, yeah. uh, it was uh, you know, one of those things where it's blender, $149 you know, smoothie, priceless, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. I've, I've actually done that before, too. My <laughs> shame. All right, to close it out, just a couple of very quick little questions for you. What's your appetizer of choice? Oh, boy. I love dips. I love dips. I feel okay. like they get everyone kind of going. They get everyone. But healthy dips, like white bean and garlic or avocado dip, that kind of thing. Okay. Can't miss TV show. Can't miss. Oh, Downton Abbey. Not missing that one. Okay. No way. Good. No way, no how. <laughs> I hope your ISIS is okay. Your other passion. Oh, my. I love to do yoga. I really love to be active. I love to do yoga. I love to hike. I love to be outside. Um, so any chance I get, I love to go kayaking. 
Um, so I love to be just active in general, especially outside if possible, and also I love yoga. Wonderful. Okay, well, Ellie, thank you so much for your time and for you know, talking about these Campbell's products and heart health. Thanks. And you know what? There's lots of recipes on campbellskitchen.com, lots of heart-healthy recipes. So I encourage you to check that out as well. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Take care. You too. All right.